Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary John Zhao campaign. This is episode 16. We pick it up from turn 83 in the summer season of 199. So, the biggest news that we have coming to this episode is that we are very, very close to becoming Emperor. We have 9 points of uh, prestige, or actually it should be enlightenment left. And we can probably push this over just with equipping the Imperial Seal or maybe even leveling up some of our characters because most Yellow Turban skills carry a little bit of enlightenment as well. Uh, but if we go for something like Reach, we're going to be fine. Now there's a couple of interesting things here. Um, namely, who's going to be the other two Emperor? Right now, I have a pretty good feeling that Duchess of Longxi, which is the Leon Rebels, are going to be one of them. And if we look into Diplomacy, we can kind of guess faction rank. So globally, Zhang Bao is 4th, Zhang Liang is 5th. I'm guessing Gongdu is very high up there. Gongdu is 6th, never mind. Huang Shao is 3. Uh, probably because he has a lot of enlightenment because he's a unique building. Okay. <laughs> This is the clone version, the one without clothes is 16th. So, Hongdu here is 3. Uh, no, no, no. Huang Shao is 3. That could be an issue. I'm guessing they're 2. Okay, so that part is fine. Their allies or their coalition partners with Dong He's old faction, who Dong He's long dead. And the rest are all very weak. I don't think we have to worry too much about them. Also, it's knife. That's respectable. Tenth. Okay, they're close. All right. Shi Xie. Seventh. That's still pretty impressive. Basically, right after the Yellow Turban and the Leon Rebels, he's next up. So there's also a chance here. I think if our brothers are not going to betray us, which is my main concern. We could just equip the seal and get over with it. I think it's time. Uh, not here. Do it out here. We temporarily get rid of the book. Hop on the seal. And if prestige works correctly with enlightenment, we should be able to rank up. Or else, this is very anticlimactic here. Han Shi, Xiang Mo Lu. Sinai,顺应天意。泱泱大国,陷入纷争乱世。曾经的诸侯,如今各怀鬼胎。旧世已亡,天道轮回,其实已终。Alrighty, we are now enlightened. Shixie, seventh place. Okay, interesting. Ma Teng, Han Sui. Are we not eligible? Are we like treated as a governor faction? Okay, I'm in shock. Our friends, the Duchies of Longxi, didn't didn't make the cut. Kingdom of Liang, okay. Ma Teng's Kingdom of Liang. So we have to get to here. Probably Jiu Zhen. And Han Sui is probably in Wu Wei. Oh my god, okay. He is in the right place. Let's just say that. Okay, the alliance is intact. That was surprising. And we get an extra local leader from that. That's about it. And 5% extra um, faction wide corruption reduction, I believe. Yeah. A little bit extra replenishment versus before. Much cheaper recruitment cost for captain revenues, which we don't use. We get no extra army slot. One extra assignment, one extra administ. Okay. I mean, sure. Just, you know, hit up the southern corner of the map and the northern corner of the map. No big deal. Let's get ourselves a seat first so we can be Emperor. That's what we need to do first. 
Alright, we did get our corruption. Our income went from about 6,000-ish to about 9,000-ish with this 10% faction wide. We can still do better. Instead of going for some of these building upgrades, we're going to go for these two right here. Level 4 Copper Mine and Level 5 Copper Mine also get ourselves a couple armies. So we have to come down here. This is Jade, I believe. Yep. It's two turns for a regularly six turn reform, I believe. Yeah, it's not going to go much lower. For it to be one turn, we have to be at 600%. That's just not going to happen. Uh, three turns for 10 turn reforms. And then 15 turn reforms, we need to get closer to 500% uh, if we want to be three turns. Which we might get to by the time we get there, honestly. We're growing our rates much faster now. Well, we have the screen here. Xiangling can be the next. Yeah, they can turn to administrator. So peasantry and commerce are both fine here. We can um, we can assign whoever really. Uh, there there is the thing about having additional commerce boost from your regular skill tree inherited over from the Han factions, but. We can take a quick peek. He doesn't have it. Um, does anyone have it? That's the question. It's not this one. This one's just reserve. Maybe no one has it. I don't think all the hunt skills are ported over. But while we have him, we're definitely taking reach. Yeah, this intuition's uh, ported over to quite a few characters, but... I don't think the 40% um, commerce boost, which is um, strategist skill, is actually given to the old turbans. Is he? A, yeah, she is administrator of Jian Ye, so we're getting the 15% right there. Yeah, if no one has it, then I feel pretty good just giving it to Wu Ba right there. Yeah, I think that's that's totally fine. Young Lin. There you go. So someone's doing the mission here. Someone's doing the mission here. What about Xingdu? There we go. Anyone low level? Alright, you're up. Find us a recruit. There we go. Alright. So nothing really changed because our brothers didn't betray us. We wanted to have the backstabbing show, but I guess we're not going to see that. Uh, he has done his thing. He has colonized the land for us, which is great. We can now recall him. We have five more extra army slots. We're marching towards Liu Biao. Alright, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this at the end of this turn. We'll grab all the easy stuff first. Secure us some food as we grow taller. Alright, Sun Tse has summoned himself again. Alright, we got peasants incoming. Le Yi out west. This has become a crucial battleground, because we have to... Start taking down the Kingdom of Liang. This is a small town. We got attacked because it was garrisonless because of the small town situation. Um, they're on the run. We're just going to wipe them out while we heal anyways. But you could use a couple more level up to be honest. And we're going to release Yellow Turban characters. Ooh, finally got range damage boost, which is what we don't need on this army. So I think we're going for speed. That's why... Hmm... Commerce income is also tempting, but I think speed is what we want on the cavalry. And Dim is great too. Night battle? Does anyone else have night battle? Oh. That's critical actually. 
This is actually most important. Alright, we're gonna grab that. It's a terrible item. Can we at least get Wedge on the cavalry? Then maybe we can even get... Yeah, we don't need this. This can go on the Minister of Jiangling. Where's Wu Ba? Yeah, steal item, please. Steal our... Tax Collector. We have a lot of random items all over the place that's not in the right spot. But we've just been getting so many items from all these characters. That's kind of crazy. Alright, so we get Turtle available. And we accidentally created a set. I think uh, Military Law gives you extra recruitment rank. Yep. Okay, so we can technically swap these guys over. Might as well go all store shield if we have Turtle. So we can recruit them at higher rank. We get them at rank 8. Alright, just a little bit more standardized army. And we can move it here. We can lose the mustering bonus. It's fine. We're swapping units anyway, so they're going to be healed pretty nicely. And then we'll launch our attack against Ma Teng and use the store shields against his cavalry. That would be perfect. Down here... Tao De. Right, someone did mention it and I did look it up. He is indeed Cao Cao's younger brother. But he died alongside Cao Song when Cao Qian killed the whole family. He's not from the same mother, so he wasn't actually recorded in the original Sang Guo Zhi in the historical text. But in Wei Shu or the Book of Wei, they did mention him. Uh, most likely concubine's son. So Cao Cao is not particularly you know, fond of him or at all. But loyal son's also interesting. Just because he died alongside his dad, I don't know how that makes him loyal. Uh, but not a big character in Three Kingdoms. Didn't take any role. Didn't appear in romance. Died, you know, as a side note alongside Cao Song. We have a couple unhappy generals that we're just keeping floating out here. Wow, Cao Cao owns the entire Nanhai commandery? Kongrong's on the run again? Our man just keep following his life decisions. Just keep on running. Alright, just keep running. It's fine. We'll take the trade for it. Alright, I don't think He Yi can eventually take down uh, Ma Teng and Han Sui by himself, but who knows, maybe they're, maybe they're really weak. Uh, we got Reach on the Commanding Officer. Hmm. He probably doesn't need this, she's not the Commanding Officer, so none of the bonus actually matter. Morale's good, but maybe not needed in this army. Extra melee damage. Yeah, I think this is best. And also 5% extra replenishment, which overflows to over max, so it's not really gonna kick in at all. But we'll take it. We have archers here, so fire arrow and night battle would be great. Melee piercing damage, don't need that. Uh, we'll take this first, actually, since that's two away. And I think he this army already has night battle, and fire arrow is not like a necessity. But that's also really good. That also gives fire arrow, so we don't have to take this one. We can just go this way, from here into here. We'll take this first. Campaign movement range is also always a premium, and we'll keep chasing him. Although he's going to lose his land, I don't think we can. Oh, I lied. We can reach. Okay, we'll, we'll flood him with peasants. We might actually fight this. I don't know what the delegate value is going to be. Like what they give us. Oh, they will give us a win. So if that's the case, then we don't really care about Salto. He has no items. He has, he has a background though. Kind of. Mm, will he die? He will die. He has no resiliency. I can't really see his background. I don't know what Royal Sign gives. So for science, we could just siege and let him live. It will stall our advances, but I don't think it's going to hurt us unless Cao Cao's army like suddenly shows up from over here. But we just beat him last episode, so I think we're fine. This way we can get to know him and I can take a look at what Loyal Sun does. Just curious. Oh, we actually have a good fight here. 
We have siege weapons on the town. And we got our famous Wang Lao's paragon who took down Cao Cao. Maybe they get a chance like Sun Ce and Sun Quan. Ah, two for one deal. Okay. So this is even better than Zhang Jiao's fight. So we got a couple good fights coming up this episode. Where is this army? Ah. Why did you abandon the position? What logic is this? Let's defend the shoreline and leave the toolmaker open. Tactically sound. I mean, we did have to expend ourselves to take down the territory. But... Like, they could come back and counter siege us. But there's towers on Toolmaker. That's not very smart. Alright, not feeling too bad about this fight here. I think that's all the armies that are randomly placed around the map. I think we can get started with our major fights. So Liu Bao's gonna finally die. He's in a garrison, he has no more territories, he has no more armies. Yan Bai Hu is here. This is our last chance to grab his weapon. I'll take the horse as well. I'll, I'll take a couple items here too. Let's go. We do not have siege weapons, so it's not that type of fight. They would have a lot of spears just from the garrison. So that's why our cavalry is not delegating very well. This should be a pretty grand fight. Let's go. Alrighty, so we're loaded up in here. Um, we're gonna do quite a few things in this fight. We're gonna use our cavalry first to drain the enemy archers. Um, what we're gonna do is a tactic that if we ever end up playing Ma Teng, that we will run a lot. But right now, we don't have fatigue immune cavalry, but we can kind of use them as if we did. It just wouldn't be as efficient. Let's name these three on this side. And the whole idea is, is you want to spread your army out so they spread their army out. And the AI is not going to split their army efficiently. So then you just poke holes in their lines. I mean, it's not even AI exploiting. Historically, if you run your cavalry all over the place, you know, the enemy force is going to get confused and find themselves hard to react. Zhang Jiao will actually charge in. Our whole purpose is to make sure the enemy run out of arrows by the time our elite infantry get up there, up close and personal with them. And Zhang Zhao can die because he has that ability that we have not yet pulled off. So let's see. I think we're prepared. Let's go. If we can get a duel, it'd be great. Alright, we just want to kind of, you know, surround. I don't care if I get shot. We have melee cav so we are immune well not immune but 50% less damage and we get like 20% range block chance quite low because they have two swords instead of a shield let's go if we die we die if we die we run our cavalry next to him before he dies so that we can see what happens and we just want to approach them slowly want them to split up their force, but it looks like we might win this. We we do have a pretty good weapon. 3k base damage. Does he have a lot of armor? Well, he actually has a lot of armor. Hmm. We'll see. They have wooden spikes here. They're hiding in the forest, which is okay for me. Just don't want to run into the forest. Oh, we're dying. We're actually dying. Get over here. We're gonna see it. It's a hundred range. So... I wonder if we get hit by charge, re uh, charge reflect. Then, if we, if we, oh, don't die so fast. All right, they're inside. Get inside. Get inside. One health. Hang in here, hang in here, get them in there. 
Get in here, get in here. Okay, they can't make it, but it's fine. All right, now it's time to die. There we go. We died, we died, we died. Invincible charge. Blank them. Do we lose men? We don't lose men. We don't get charge reflect. Let's go. How many seconds? 40, oh my god. Uh, we should try to cycle charge, but I think they were charging through just fine. Alright, we still have some time. 19, 18 seconds. Try to do as much damage as we can to the spear units. We should really cycle charge, but I don't want to waste the invincibility time. Because, you know, we're on a clock here. Five, four, three, get through the spikes. All right, our time is up. But well, I think the damage is done. I'm gonna pull them out towards the range units. And also the routing units. Clean those up. And get stop engaging the spear. Go on that one. This one's kinda stuck, but I think we're okay. Alright, one on each. Cool. Alright. Move up, friends. Archers are gone. It's infantry time. Oh, uh, they bounce back. That's what I was afraid of. Alright, that's fine. We'll just charge back into the cavalry. Those we can take care of. But that was fun. Invincible, charge into charge, reflect infantry, all the wooden stake, no damage whatsoever. Does anyone want to duel me? I think I can get revenge. I believe. I believe. Where is he? He's right here. Young Kai will, will take a look. Revenge for our glorious leader. First we'll take down his uh, melee evasion. Then we'll chop him up with uh, Dong Zhuo's sword, sword of Xiangyu. Actually, let's just call it Xiangyu's sword. Xiangyu is much cooler than Dong Zhuo. It was those tiger blades. Tiger claw, I believe they're called. Yeah, without melee evasion, he's nothing. Revenge. And then morale shock. Old man, oh, alright. Uh, we can come back here. They don't have much. Go him. Go belt's out of control, but maybe he wants to duel afterward. Once he calms down. I think we can go help. Why don't we just charge him? They're clearly not braced. They're in a thin line. What kind of brace is this? Alright, there we go. We get a duel? No, he doesn't want to. Well, we offered him a fair fight. He didn't listen. And okay, now we just crowd him. We have a couple dueling abilities. We can just dump on him. Our infantry are very far away. But if they can get here, they can go after these. Oh, they're just routing. Oh, stay on them. Oh, they, they saw the attack command be like, no, we're out of here. Oh, he died. That was quick. Well, that was fun. The invincible works just fine. Alrighty. Invincible cavalries against infantry of Jin ending Liu Bell. Very poetic. Now give us a sword. Come on. Come on. Okay, I got a horse. Uh, Alright, they're going to go to some other faction. Wonder who they would join. 
Alright, so we'll bounce back. We did pick up one-eyed, which gives us scare. That's not bad at all. We are going to go back to book once we have the cooldown down. Play next turn, because we, yeah. Um, he doesn't need to have this horse now. We can swap, but we can probably find this army. No, this army. He has one. Huh. What about this army? Do you have a horse? No. Steal it from our leader. And we can give our leader... Wrong guy. Oh, automatic equip. Okay, that's perfect. Just a little bit higher authority. Um, Back to Sun Tzu's fight. Not done yet. It's only a large town, so no wall. But lots of towers, for sure. Uh, we have the Huanglao Paragons, definitely going to throw them into the fight as well. We'll go from the same direction. We'll just overwhelm them. They might charge out. Let's go. Alrighty, it's summer day. Nice and dry. Perfect day for some fire. Um, I think they might actually charge out. Is there a side with less trees? I guess we are on the side with the least trees. Okay, that's fine. I kind of like this hill, but I don't think we can use it because there's trees on top. Hmm. Alright, we are not going to control these, but I like where we are. That's actually not bad. We just got to tear out the flaming shots, pound this entire side of the town, have these guys out in the front. Oh, we need to move them back. Okay, just give us a little space. And these boys can't go right in front. Alright, no formations available, that's fine. And these are backups. I'm gonna hope for these to run out of shot by the time they break through here. That's probably not gonna happen. Alright, you guys are now suicide units. They will charge right into the enemy to buy time. Good charge, also um, very high unbreakable, so that should help. Protect one flank. We'll just give it a shot. It's not really going to do much. I think we do have a um, Disorient. That could stop a very nice charge, and we should really swap some of their items. This is fine. No dueling. Fire will, boys. Fire will. Crank up those shots. They're coming out. It's fine. Let them have it. Let them have it! Okay, why are we aiming the units in the back? But fine. Not my crane. Well, this one hit pretty well. How about, how about this group? The two brothers here? They don't... They look like great targets, guys. I charge. These guys just fought Tall Tall. These guys just killed Tall Tall. There's our last guy. There we go. Alright. Double charge for the cavalry of Sun Tzu. Stop in their tracks. And we counter charge them instead. Alright, we're not gonna stop all of them. We'll use our body to stop this group. Uh, decline. Nobody duels. We have a few abilities we can use. We're just buying time here. Smash. Trying to break their morale. They have a pearl dragons. All right, the morale shock is got, is getting to him. Let's double it up. Ash, there we go. I think we re refresh the timer at least. If we can just hit him with enough damage during this time period, he will route. Nah, we didn't. Alright, before we get killed by him, we'll get back. Okay, One, even, even if they break through, there's another line of defense here. Those are just sacrificial pawns right here to buy time. 
want to fully utilize our siege weapons. I'm going to stop that. Oh, we got men here. First group's here already. All right, flank, flank, flank. Second group, go kill generals. Three of you on Sun Tzu, three of you on Sun Chue. Ignore the strategist. Anin can do whatever he wants. What are these? Mercenary archers? Okay. Can we kill the cavalry? I mean, we have tons of options here. But we can boost our... Hold on. We're gonna come over here and boost all our infantry that's about to go into the battle. Everyone, fight bravely. One, two, three. Good luck. They're trying to find here. Trying to get him. Some of them are running into the wrong room. Alright, why don't you guys come help this out? Actually, they can do it. They're much more mobile. Take the city. Flush them out. All right, peasants can kill Panin. Until our men are here, what you got? Chop him up. Hit him, boys. He's trying to run. The tribuchet actually will block him. It's hard for the horses to maneuver. We got some unbreakable and fighting till the bitter. Oh, they broke the trebuchet just when I said we had him blocked. Yes, we do have him blocked. He's very hard time running out of our section. Get him. I don't see his health, but it'll be a surprise when we kill him. He's like, where does this group end? All these flags. Oh! Oh, oh boy, he showed us. Oh, he's gone. Okay, how is Sun Quan doing? We got one group on him. Where's the other group? Where did the other... Wait, they got stuck here? Why? Well, at least one group made it. Alright, we beat everything. Are you ca carrying any good family heirlooms? Oh, your brother didn't give you anything. I guess he, he's making you good on being a good administrator, because uh, you got the administrator sword, the one that gives uh, expertise here. You guys have nothing to do. Chop him up. Dual axe, dual sword. Oh, what are these peasants doing? Oh, Sun Quan's like, get out of here. Oh no, so many. Where's my brother? Where's big bro? Oh, Sun Quan's deciding what to do. He's like, why am I unbreakable at a time like this? We're all chasing at random places, that's why we're getting killed by the towers. Go over here. I mean, it's extra zeal. He's retreating back. Alright, our infantry is not well equipped to do this. We will... Wait, what happened to this group? Are they... Oh, they're not on the machine. Let's snipe him. Flaming shot! Go! 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 Alright, everyone wait. Give our, give our tribuchet man a chance. Come on. He has how much health? 7k. Oh, it's not gonna kill him in one shot though. Let's see if we can hit him. Only rank 6. Yeah, that's not close now, is it? Alright, we gotta do it ourselves. Gotta kill the unbreakable man.
Maybe these are testing shots. Maybe next round's much closer. Oh. Wow. Accurate. So accurate. See, now they're gonna hit perfectly and then kill all our generals at the same time. Oh, it's a train. Everyone gets a hit. Drive by. <laughs> Alright. Drive by kill. Alrighty. Looks one slow down again. Give us some good stuff, please. Nice. Got a spear. Ooh. Or. Uh, I mean, we have a policy. We're sticking to it. And Sun Ce's faction got destroyed too. That's their last territory. So that means. Ooh, they left us a level 4 in. The AI is cheating really hard. Level 4 in, in a large town. Anyhow, they left us. Okay. I mean, Tal Tal's next. He's gonna get destroyed after Nanhai gets taken, I bet. And then we can advance our way onto Shi Xie's faction. Yuan Yi has uh, three armies? Or two armies? Two very small armies. Okay. Alright, we got all the armies moved. Time to check out our buildings. There's not much to do. Just a few touch-ups. We could keep pushing it, because higher population also get a little bit more commerce. But Jiangling's maybe not the place. Yeah, yeah, sounds like the place. Plus it's our capital, so Imperial City sounds great. Even though we didn't get an Emperor seat. I don't think we're recruiting units out of here anymore, but the two seasonal uh, uh, deployment is also very useful. So we're not getting rid of it. This is not that good. Uh, I think it's better to get... Actually, no, it's better to keep this now, but Marketplace down the line is going to be better, even if we only have one source of commerce. But right now, this is better because our commerce is way too low. All right, let's get this built. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll take some income. Alternatively, we could go a couple more seasonal deployment, but I don't think it's needed. Yujang's not bad. Got copper mine here, got a livestock farm. We can definitely go forge into a city. We're out of cash, or at least we're kind of out of cash. Okay, our economy is booming. Uh, things are going well. Let's continue. Uh, I mean, cowardly subordinate. The eunuchs. Oh? Suicidal Cao De. Oh, right. We were sieging him. Right, this way we get to know him. Unless we kill him. I, I don't think we'll kill him. We just want to know you, my friend. Yeah, he lives. Now, now we know him. Check out what Loyal Sun does, then we kill him. And He Yi's getting attacked by rebels, the remaining a little bit. I'll just delegate this. They're still on the map. Annoying. So much leniency. Oh, we got an empire. Yin Xuan. Oh, he's branching off. Cao Cao is in that empire too. Oh, this, oh, so basically the old alliance turned into an uh, empire except for him. Yin Xuan left. And <laughs> embraced Yuan Yi, okay. I mean, I wonder what happened between Han Sui and Ma Tong. They're so close to each other. Like, wouldn't they fight each other? Like, they're borders. Oh, poor He Yi. The AI He Yi. No armor? Oh, no concubine and no armor. He switched to a legal fanatic. I mean... Don't know if that's a smart decision, but he's trying to take this, which is their last territory. But he's not in a good shape. Alright, we don't have to worry about him. Our He Yi is here. I don't know who he is. We don't need to pick up Reach because our leader, or not our leader, but our commander here did. Unbreakable? A little excessive. I think... Either we take the heal or we take like one of the abilities. 
I'm taking this actually, and then going to Insight. Do it for the faction. We'll give you a spear to make you feel a little better about that decision. Take a little extra cunning. Alright, that's pretty good. We can't reach it. We're gonna ignore that. The small town can take care of it. Macho? Okay, and oh, Hansui's daughter? Are they married? That's an awkward kingdom situation. Um, anyhow, we have more armies. So our leader is recovered. One-eyed, old, but wise, like Olden. And we're gonna switch back to corruption reduction because I want more cash. I don't really care about this prestige. And satisfaction boost. We're, we're fine. There we go. Much more cash. Uh, corruption is the only thing that's killing us. All right, so we did take down the Obiel, and we're gonna shift. I think we're gonna still make him leader, uh, commander. No one's really good at moving troops here. Um, we could finish this up, or just leave it for him to do it. We have so many allies here; we don't really have to stay. We gotta go west. It's time to go west. Um. We could land through here, or we can cut through here, which might be faster, because we're going all the way over here. All right, we still need to heal, so we can just walk. Don't want to trespass, so that means I have to take the mountain path here. I can cut out. I'm gonna have to trespass, unless I go through. Oh, I can go through here. Basi into Hanzhong, perhaps. Hanzhong's in here, and then we we'll take Wudu. Yeah, we can take a seat by ourselves, maybe. We can start running after one more turn. Down here, it's just the expansion. So they took the town, we'll trade for it. Okay. Yue Jin. This is an impressive army, actually. Uh, just the generals, not the army. Um. Yeah, we'll take the tea house, but let's trade for this first. We can confederate him. I don't want to do that though. Now we have like three sets of armies giving us zeal. If we confederate, it's basically down to, you know, just us. Um, since they didn't, you know, become emperors, we're not going to touch them. I kind of want this too. Oh, he has a lot of split territories with us. Down south farm. We can give him down south farm land. I don't need this. Who has the other piece? Oh, yeah, rebels have the other pieces of oil. Okay, we're gonna keep the capital for symbolic reasons. Lumberyard. He can have this too. Maybe give us die. 26 points. Let's see if we have enough armor for that. Uh, the gold one we're going to keep for collection purposes. This uh, is useful. We're going to give over two random stuff and then we're going to pay him with some stuff. 9.6. Um, would you take, say, f yes, he's so rich. He's richer than us. He might not take much money. Yeah, that's not worth it. Um, I'll give him more land. Uh, not item, more land. It must be something that we don't need. Um, unping. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's because there's only six possible. Alright. Hold on. We need to alter this a little. This is Jiangxia. Jiangxia, we can wait. Get rid of this, get rid of this, and we make a small payment. And we got Changshot, that was the most important one. And then Dai, maybe we wait till we get more territory to trade with him. Ah, uh, that's incorrect. What we want here is commerce. This is a really lucrative commandery once we get it built up. Because there's Commerce, commerce, commerce uh, from the Camino Inn, and then the marketplace boost is 150%, so that's really worth it. 
Alright, what went on here? I think we had the Cao De fight. Now we know him. Plus 10 cover costs for enemy spies who are family members. Ah, so turncoats. He counters turncoats. Haha, <laughs> okay. Interesting. That's an interesting mechanic. Haven't seen that. But well, now he dies. Got 500 copper, not useful. Uh, they're both tempting, but we're going to get this first. Don't have anything good for him. We can scout. Oh. I kind of need to kill him, I think. Or else he can threaten the trade port. He's still not going to be white. He's going to be on the run. Oh. Wait. The animation's weird. He died. Oh, he, his army like disappeared. Alright, we're gonna go back down this route to the large town. Let's scout a little bit. Looks clean. Alright, they took a beating, but we're fine. A lot of travel time. Let's go down here. That might be the only road. I don't think we need to go here. This is the clone. This is the Huang Shao clone. Zhang Nao's Huang Shao versus Huang Shao's Huang Shao. Does he have armor? Can't tell. We don't know him. Maybe we can siege him too. Alright, he's on the run. I don't. Oh, I don't trust him. Where are you going? You might attack this. We need to follow. Uh, Lu Kang is not a threat. Okay, we moved all our armies. We have a few on uh, one recruit. We'll take it. Everyone's welcome. And if you bring a weapon, you're extra welcomed. Oh. Loya. Take this. Yeah, these are all done. Okay, we're good. Let's continue. Uh, the unit keep trying. Okay, Kingdom of the Island's getting pretty big. We got ourselves another reform. Keep on going. Alright, we're full healed. Um, we actually... I mean, we can trespass, it's fine. I, I will take the Hanzhong route, I think. I think it's faster. Does he have armor? Do we know him? Also, if he has armor, then the other one doesn't. So, Huang Shao's Huang Shao has armor, but Zhang Nang's Huang Shao is a duplicate. Hmm. Oh, we can give him, oh, her, the anti-corruption, and we finally have someone with integrity, which means we can get rid of some corruption here, assuming she's available to recruit. She, she might be in an assignment, that's how she probably leveled up. Yeah, she's on assignment. We'll cancel the assignment. We need her. There she is. And let's see. Let's go through our armies. 
Ooh, our peasants. This one might be tough. We're gonna hold on for that. Oh, father and son. Zhang Lu. Oh, surrender to Ma Teng. I see. So Han Zhong is under Ma Teng's control. I guess we go after them. I mean, we can't. Uh, he's gonna run if we attack him. He can't run. Oh, uh, it's pretty level. It's level four. All right, I'm not that confident about that fight either. So let's hold off here and we'll take all the easy stuff first. Come back. We can march him. He's the only one missing a little bit of health. Actually, quite far. So what we're going to do is actually use them to siege, and then run them as reinforcements. Alright, Cao Cao is on his last gasp too. Oh, Shi Xie's army. First time we saw them. Yeah, we could wait till one of these army get up there, technically. Yeah, we'll just delegate. I could move the other army up for some experience, but too many clicks. Oh, their city is getting sieged. Only by rebels. Um, we don't have to go south. I think we just keep going straight. We don't actually have to help. I think we can do it. Where did that? Oh, they landed on our side. On March. Silly boy, silly, silly boy. I think we're just gonna delegate this away. He's still alive. Well, he leveled up. Level five? Pretty impressive, actually. Can we finish him off? Nope. Okay. Oh, Jin Huashan? Anyhow, um, yeah, let's fight this one first. This one might be a little rough. Tea house, I don't, I think the tea house layout is like a big concave basin, like a stepladder farm type of thing, terrace farm. They don't have range, or oh, they have some range units. We just have to overwhelm them. Hopefully we have night battle. We do, oh we do, okay. So the easy option is just delegate, but I really do want to see Huang Zhong. Right, they don't have much. Oh, right, they have a lot of range here. Mm. It's going to be ugly. I don't know how we can fight this cleanly. It might come down to literally our three generals winning the fight for us, but let's see that. Oh, it's not a... Oh, it is kind of like a terrace farm basin, but it's not as deep as I remember it. Actually, a very not a steep curve here. Um, do we want to utilize guerrilla deployment? I guess we do. We can always hide a group in like the densest forest here. It's not bad. We can duel just because Huangdong doesn't have a good weapon. But since he's a sentinel, I'm guessing super high melee evasion. Keep this group visible. Uh, they do have cavalry, but I don't think this will come in handy, so we're just gonna skip it. Are they gonna hold defensively? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Right, doesn't look like we're favored in these fights, because they're 
sentinels but he has such low morale because of the night battle if we just go in and use our ability to smash them we can actually just route them which i think is what we should do we have to be quite careful here because it doesn't feel like we can just win this by running at them how many heals do we have okay we have one heal we have two recovery Okay, we should be okay. Smash. We need to get on top of one of the generals. Um, we, we don't want to get engaged with the infantry. If we can chase them down while the yeah while the morale is still damaged, we can route them for good. Just pull away from the infantry. We should be okay. Two more smashes. I want to smash the general. He's not right next to him. He is. Oh, don't run away, don't run away. There we go. Take a heal. Chase him down. Well, he has no morale. That's a fair fight. <laughs> kind of want to take it. Let's go. Other two. Keep chasing. Are there units charging? They're not. Okay. We're good. We have a silver weapon. He has high evasion, but... I don't know. This is just basic sentinel stat versus our stat, which has no armor and no evasion. But we have a good weapon. We don't have our smash available for us for this fight, so that could be rough. At least we got rid of both generals. We have resiliency, right? Yeah, we're level 6. We're fine. Um, let's just take a watch here. Our armor looks pretty sick, too. We have the silver tier. Except for it's really blooded. I'm assuming that's our own blood. Bloodied by our own blood. Hondo looks pretty clean. A couple marks on his legs there. We both wear cloaks. Or cape. Uh, it, means we're, it means we're losing. Uh, wrong we're losing. Round button. What's that? K. Okay, there we go. 身手了得 means he's very skilled. Hmm. We might have to just pull him away. Can we last another 150 seconds? That's the question. He's not gonna bounce back. We can probably just chase, come back. All right, we need them. Five K. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. All right, I. I think we just run away then. Oh, well. He's done too. We did our job, but. It'd been better if he won the duel. Alright, Huang Zhong's troops are also kind of routing. Maybe this is our cue. We get a downhill charge on a very confused enemy formation. Uh, too far this, that way. Charge of the peasants. Oh, we can probably widen this part out a little. Oh, 
Actually, we have enough units. The archers will pull back, most likely. We'll probably clash into the spear anyways. But we can kind of isolate everyone to a target. Oh no, they're just gonna fire. Okay, brave. Sure he doesn't come back. Let him go. He's yeah, he's not gonna bounce back. I broke through. That's good, actually. Oh, I think it's too little too late. Get him. Just gotta keep chasing so they can't stand and fire. Let's have one chase, one. Oh, we actually don't have one chase one here. We're still fighting all over the place. He's unbreakable, so we have to send someone to go kill him. Oh my god, it's like seven against three. This guy is not even really fighting. Charge, rip, flank him. This could turn really bad once they all bounce back. Because we only have three guys chasing like five units. Like that. He's coming back already. Uh oh, uh oh. We killed one guy from this unit? After all that chasing? I wonder why they bounce back. We got a couple of our guys routing now. Captain units. Oh, we collapsed this group. Okay, we got this. Unfortunately, your flank didn't hold very well. Now you're all dead. Alright, now it's about killing him. And catching random armies at random places. Oh, that fire arrow burst. Alright, we need a few to stand on these guys. Try to get that. Alright, these are one on one. This is a little thin here. Oh, bouncing back. That's fine. We can still beat them. We got it. That's a win, right? Uh, they got a few units. Bounce back. Shame. Uh, they're all so far away, too. We can't really concentrate on anyone. Have to chase them down. Right. I think they're gonna. Oh, that one lost. Too few men chasing too many. Alright, keep going. Well, I guess we're not the only one who bounce back all the time. Like, there? They do too. Come on. Oh, 
out. Oh, they're archers, not archer militias. Okay. Higher morale expected. There we go, finally. Alrighty. Yue Jin, poor guy. First time we saw him. Alrighty, so we're gonna wrap up our episode here. We still have a very nice fight out west against Ma Tong and Ma Chao. Probably just Ma Tong. We're probably gonna go for the livestock farm. And he's probably gonna retaliate afterwards, so we gotta try to fight it pretty cleanly. Um, aside from that, we are just gonna start moving into our Emperor seat. We're moving our leader over here across Hanzhong, hopefully into the mountains of Wudu. Pick that up and then cut through here into uh, Wu Wei. Down south, our main army just continue to make their push. We're gonna end Cao Cao next episode, and then we're probably gonna start taking Shi Xie's land. I have to move through some of the Han Empire. I think they probably took in a lot of the generals, so wiping them out should make things pretty interesting. Since we can never recruit them, um, we can probably see them over and over again as we keep fighting, so that'd be nice too. I hope you guys enjoy this one. See you guys next time. Bye!